Hello everyone, Prince Kuda here, and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land. Last time, we finished off Sherbert's Land and learned that my childhood curiosity was quelled finally when we found level 19. But now we're in level 20. Keep moving. Keep on the move, please. Oh, good. Uh. By the way, this is the this is a level. This is a level where you are gonna want to move. Okay, cool. Have fun with the lava. Not worth it. Gone. That's got the key in it. Get it. Nope. Damn it. Ah. Uh, so I realized exactly what it was the moment we started that level. That was a lava level, and I could not tell you it specifically. But you know at this point that it is that lava is a gill. That being said, we are now going to beat feet. Damn it! The one-time dead zones are going to screw me over. It's not worth it going down there. We need to move fast so the lava wall doesn't catch us. And shoulder charging is probably the fastest way to move right now. Perfect. So we need the so the key is over here. So but we need it to get out of we need it to get up and out of here. And that's why Bull Wario is going to be a godsend right now. If you aren't after the treasure, there's plenty of coins down there for you to try and get. Actually we could probably Oh perfect. Didn't even realize this was in here. But this will help out tremendously because we don't have to worry about enemies and slowly timing and killing them. Because we can keep moving. Oh, damn it. Okay, got it. <laughs> that was a split second reaction. Alright. Now, I believe the door for this key is actually right up here. Pretty much as soon as you. Pretty much the second you get yourself through that part, you get yourself a treasure. And we get a mystical bowling ball! That apparently is meant for one man's thumb. And his thumb is his whole hand. Oh, mystical bowling ball, will you please give me a strike? Objects... Objects unclear. Not sure what strike is. This is a broken bowling ball. <laughs> I have no idea where that bit came from, but I'm glad we went there. Anyway, the rest of this level is done. What? That was it? <laughs> Alright, well, we're already here. Let's go ahead and gamble away the rest of our money. Alright. Off to a great start. Well, let's go with this. Now, there are patterns. There are patterns in this game, and it's hard to specifically discern which pattern is going to be which while you're playing. But, I mean, it's a 50-50. What do you feel lucky with? Oh, God. Well, I just turned 17 coins into 136 best possible outcome got to love your times two tables right anyway well let's move on let's move on to the next stage which actually this stage is going to take well we're actually in a we actually have a clean record when it comes to getting treasures from now until almost the end of the, of, of uh, stone canyon so go nuts there might be some little collectibles here and there but Eh. Eh, I still don't want Dragon Hat. Like, the Jet Hat is probably the best thing. Basically, the Dragon Hat is like, uh, well, I know I'm gonna need it to get a treasure, and that's the only time I'm gonna need it. But welcome to this level's gimmick, which is basically, hey, um, things go into the lava, stay out of lava. You can do that, right? You know, for such a... I'm just thinking back on it. For such a small, for the fact that this is a Game Boy game, a 94 Game Boy game, might I, might I add. Because I remember, because I read that in my little infomatic when I've, <laughs> I've been looking at here, here and there while playing. Is that, you know, lots of Game Boy games came out super late. Uh, I guess only the Durgan can break that open. Fair enough. Oh god. Bull Wario, not that hard. Uh, problem rising.
but yeah, it's just this this whole level is just about rising and sinking platforms into lava. And I do love that the charge does not count you as being on land. Given Wario's wide frame, it kind of helps. Kind of is a detriment too. Also, I'm still I'm taking jumps very gingerly, we'll say. Eh. Well, that was swimmingly. You know, depending upon how well we do here, we might be able to, yeah. Depending on how well we do, we might be able to just blaze through the whole level in one go. Now I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at something here. We're gonna go in we're actually gonna go into the uh, heart heart mini game. And see. Oh yes, we can't afford the B course. We'll go to explore each course, even though we have plenty of lives. All right. All right. Come again. Hit. Missed. So on higher level courses, the enemies will just move faster. That's the big thing. Oh damn it! Well, I'm not gonna get it over. All or nothing, baby. All right. You want to try again? Hit. Nope. Almost, though. Let's try it one more time. I'm gonna hold it this time. Now! Bullseye! I at least got one! That nah. We're only getting one. Wait. I... Okay, well, it still get, get, technically gives us a one-up, but you can see the rewards get greater the higher up, the more money you push into it, so... You can put your extra money into whatever you want, except for stocks and bonds. Wario does not believe in those. He believes in taking money, and that is his only means of making money. Let's see, and I think maybe at the end of this world, I'll go ahead and just... I'll just uh, give us a guaranteed 100 coins, so we can... So that way we can see what the last rank looks like. Because I never have played the last rank of the, uh, the heart game. I've never gotten the last rank of money making game. Also, I think this level kind of sucks for coin collecting. Eh. I think this level kind of sucks for coin collecting because all the enemies are big enemies, so they e you need to stun them or... What the... What? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> hey, glitchy boys. I love glitching out a game. Okay, that's cool. Okay, no boomerangs. Boomerangs are now banned. Okay, you can go over there. I... You just... You find new ways to break a game every day, don't you? Especially when it's from, like, before 2000s era Nintendo stuff. Yeah, I did not know that was a thing. That was a nice, interesting glitch. To let you see outside of the, uh... Oh, so stellar background. By the way, I should, I should mention is that yes, this game is in black and white, and you know, Game Boy Color was Game Boy or Game Boy Color was definitely out at this point because Mole Mania was made like a the same year or the year before this game, and Mole Mania had 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 very rough coloring, we'll say. All right. I want to go right. Which, considering Wario was a 4x4 four four block, this is terrifying. Oh. I mean, I want this, but the incentive is terrible. Down. Let's go. Ooh. Like, Wario was a 4x4 four four, four four block hitbox, so if you just... If you screw up at any point here, right into the lava you go. Do not collect go. Do, do not collect go. Hello. I got that coin. It was worth it. Thankfully, I don't, there's no treasure here. I just have to be smart, especially considering I'm on my last hit and I've already passed the checkpoint. Oh, we're good. So yeah, Stone Stone Canyon. Not a bad place to be. Just oh, I didn't give myself the coins. I'm smart. I remember things very well, don't you know? Don't you know, eh? Ah, yes. Now, this area, I do know this is a split path level. 
There's going to be a level to the left, and a level, and then the normal path leads to the boss. So, course 23. Uh, oh, I remember how to get there. Also, welcome to my carts. And probably like one of the, and once again, we're retreated to one of the best songs in the game. I'm act, you think I'm lying. No, this is like, this song is Wario. Lava hurts. But no, I will still say like, maybe we'll, maybe we'll find another song. We'll find another song later on that's like much more upbeat that has is a close contender. But nah, this is the song that I think exemplifies what Wario Land as a game is. So yeah, the minecarts, the minecarts are, they're not bad, it's just I got a little too greedy for money here. Gasp, too much greed. Who would have thought of such a thing? You're lying to me, aren't you? No. No, I'm not lying. Hit. So, this is a split path level, but I think this introduces you to what will get you that split path. Because I believe in this door is the midpoint which I will skip cuz money if I don't get the if I don't get the 100 coins I'll make myself get the 100 coins cuz I'm a dirty rotten cheater you know you're lousy and all that jazz hit nailed it okay that interaction worked there are interactions in this game that shouldn't work and then there's a few that do. Oh, you know, having the jet power-up would be perfect here. Hit. So something I should commentate on, because you're... You're obviously... Oh, crap. You're obviously hearing it at this point, and I'll meet you back at this point in level in a second, but... Well, I could probably talk about it once we get there. Hold on. Okay, I believe this is our jump here. So charge jump last second. Give yourself a heart and the spring. What's the spring do? It puts you up here to an otherwise inaccessible area, which gets you, I believe, the secret exit out of here. Damn it, I forgot again. <laughs> but um, the whole thing I, I was talking about a second ago is that occasionally, while while you're if you're listening to the audio over my over my vocals and everything, you may occasionally hear some grinding. We'll call it. That, unfor that is an unfortunate side effect of running the recording combination with the program. Though I own a physical copy of this game, Visual Boy Advance is probably the best way for me to record Game Boy games. And Visual Boy Advance, at least with Game Boy games, did not like to agree with Fraps at all. So, my apologies if you hear any unnatural sounds like double playing sounds and really grindy sounds. Anyway, I'll meet you guys in just a moment once I get towards up to where the normal exit is, which is not too far out. And stay up in the upper out to get yourself access to the normal exit, which is literally right here. Alright, so before I forget... There we go. Let's give ourselves exactly 100 coins, well, let's give ourselves 150 coins. Because we're going to show off that minigame, but I still want my money. Just so we can at least see what this is like. Give me the big boy course, and then I can stop showing these off. <laughs> so it's still five bombs, but I think we get, like, the mole enemies, but they're hella fast. And that's not going across. Alright. Throw it now. Damn. Too slow. So for this one, we probably want to get it close to the end. Let's see. I'm going to throw it now. That was the same timing I just had, didn't it? Well, not quite. Close, but not quite. Alright. This is instantaneous. Ha! Really? Well, we ain't getting we ain't getting the good stuff today. Nope, we ain't getting the good stuff today. 
all losses. So, like, if you even hit one, it's a three up. But if you match it all five, it's a it's fifty up. It definitely pays for itself. Anyway, let me just go ahead and take my cheater's money. And even though we got through a whole lot of in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and call this here. So everyone, thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Wario Land. And return back next time when we will finish up Stone Canyon, and, or Stove Canyon, go me, I can read. And we'll move on to, we'll call it the level. It's not a bad level, but it's a level. I'll see you folks then.